What's up, y'all? It's Station Asia. We back with another extra video today, y'all. We got <laughs> Kelly Price sings Whitney Houston talks being fat shamed and biggest lessons Mariah Carey taught her. We're gonna get straight into it, so let's go. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here to the season four finale. Uh, oh, we made it! We made it! We made it! First of all, thank you so much for watching another season of my show. Like, honestly, four seasons? Four seasons. Over 100 episodes? That's amazing. Are you kidding? Over 100 artists? Hi, Roxy. Hi, Matt, who's been here since the very beginning. Clap for them. Without them, it would not happen. Literally, would not happen. Amazing. What better way? <laughs> What better way to cap off season four than with one of the greatest <laughs> vocalists, artists, period. One of the greatest to do it. Please give me the warmest of applause for Kelly Price. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Miss Kelly Price. Hello, my darling. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for being here to cap off this season. I'm excited. I'll tell you this, I was in the bed this morning, okay? Just brushing up on some of her live performances. And they, I told you, I couldn't even finish some of them. Oh, wow. I couldn't, could I do it? You were angry. I, it made me mad. I was oh. upset <laughs> at how great you were. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Was I yesterday? Was that not pausing? Like, I can't finish this. Wow. It's unfair. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, Thank how, you. that's how you affect uh, the world with your gift, uh, with your talent for over 30 years. Yeah. Over three decades. I'm not mad. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate you. Won't he you, do Lord. it? Yeah, yeah. Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Listen. And won't he continue to do it? I'm a okay. project kid. I'm project, project strong. Edgemere Project Strong. Yes. Shout out to Edgemere Project. Yes, come through. The south side of Jamaica. This is called evolution. Can we talk about your childhood. Jamaica. I know you were a church girl. I can, okay. I mean. Absolutely. When you, when she. What? She from, is she from, she from Jamaica? Let me, I gotta look it up. I got, y'all know what yeah. the time it is. Because. Y'all know what time it is. Ain't no way I've been singing Kelly Price songs and she from Jamaica and I didn't know it. I mean, I was singing it at like Hold five on, and six. I my fingers but together. Still. My fingers tripping. Y'all, I'm eating a Bowberry Biscuit. American gospel singer. R&B and gospel singer. She, she started her gospel. singing her in 1992. All right. Oh, she used to sing backup for Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. Come on, Google. She from New York City. Mm. Jamaica Queens. Maybe. They just say New York City. Hmm. Yeah, they ain't. They ain't trying to get nothing. Mm -hmm. Let me go back and see what she said about the Jamaica part. And, and when he continued to do it. I was a project kid. I'm project, project strong. Edgemere Project Strong. Yes. Shout out to Edgemere Project. Yes, come and through. The south side of Jamaica. This is called evolution. Can we talk about your childhood? I know you were a church well, I, girl. I, I can, I mean. I, I can guarantee you one of them, though. So go ahead and pipe that down. I, that part, she, her right there? She, she letting us know right now. Mm -hmm. We appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> when you when she starts singing, you'll understand. If you don't know who Kelly Price hmm. is, first of all, she well, you check yourself. She <laughs> okay. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> but when she starts She on that she on that Whitney Houston Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, this, this is, is the, the heartbreak. heartbreak. Okay. And how many songs did she have with Mr. B? This is Mr. B. How you doing, Mr. B? Mm-hmm. R. Kelly. I mean, y'all. Friend of mine. She, yeah, because she was a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make her call her God, daddy. Okay. Mm. Saying you understand you're a church girl at heart, but you did come from, you came from the bottom. Yeah. You came from a very yeah. dangerous area. Absolutely. You came from the heat. Can yeah. you talk about that? I can. I usually tell people, yeah. depending on the day you catch me, you're going to catch me being part holy or part heathen or, or the greater sum of either. Right? <laughs> So it's my balance. mom, <laughs> thank you Jesus for balance, right? Yes. And I'm, I embrace both sides. Yes. Sometimes one is necessary on one day and the Absolutely. other, praise God, amen. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> so my mom was the preacher's kid and mm. let my dad, who, um, who's, they, his family didn't go to church. Mm. He started going to church, met my mom. Yes. And they got together. They were childhood sweethearts and they were married at, at 18 and 17 years old. Wow. Yeah. So, um, so I have a very good mixture. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Paulina, 
and and Don't pass, the, with and pass the cavassier, right? So, um, like seriously. So, so on my mom's side of the family, like it was strictly old school Church of God in Christ Pentecostal. We couldn't wear pants, we couldn't play cards, couldn't listen to music that wasn't gospel. When I went to Nana's house, you went to the same church. When, right. When when I went to Nana's house, mm -hmm. it was forties and Newports I love and it. and spades and spit. Boy, that's and, like and, and dominoes. Okay. And so that, okay. that, wow. that was that, that was, that was my life. Yeah, that whiplash was my life. every day. Absolutely. <laughs> the thing about Growing up in church, though, is especially for singers. Yes. Tell me if I'm wrong, but um, everybody sings in church. Everybody. everybody sings. And in my family, they don't sing, they sing. sing. And everybody plays, and everybody, starting with my almost 96 year old grandma, who literally just passed that down to the rest of us. Thank you, have you Jesus. A 96 year old grandmother who yeah. is kicking butt. Dope.com. Did I hear that she beat, had COVID and beat it? She did. We lost my grandpa to COVID last mm. year, and my she beat goodness. it. She beat it. She Shout out to your grandmother. Yeah, grandma, grandma is she. All the she's every woman in real life. Oh, in God. real life, my you grandma know, you is every woman. Would already. you say right. that because everybody sung in church that when you went to school and you were singing and stuff, it that's when you found out that you were special. When did you find out that you were you special? You literally just is that, it? that when it I went sense. to school because. Everybody in my house sang. Yeah. Everybody in my family sang. Everybody at my granddaddy's church sang. Yeah. And so going to school at like four years old, and the piano teacher is sitting there playing, and they got us singing all these little songs, and she's in a key. Yeah. And the kid's sitting next to me, she's, mm, uh -huh. London Bridge is falling down. The kid next to me is, London Bridge is, and I'm like, oh, oh, you don't hear that? That's not how we do it. <laughs> oh, 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 my That's God. That's not how we do it. And, like, and I'm like, I was, I was yes. perturbed. I kept looking at the kid next to me like, <laughs> You don't hear up. that? Yeah. You're in a whole other key than the teacher is in. She keeps hitting this like, and I, and I swear to, to God. Kelly at seven. That is literally <laughs> when I realized that yeah. what I did, everybody didn't do to me. That, that kid she talking about? That was me in chorus. Because I ain't even want to be in there. <clears throat> you know what it was? Uh, I was going to say, maybe you just didn't know that. No, I ain't want to be in there. Oh, okay. I ain't want to be in there. I knew I was an alto from being on the church choir, mm. but I ain't want to be in chorus. I signed up for something else. It got filled up, and you know when it get filled up, they put the you know. Mm -hmm. Got to be quicker than that. And it, I was. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't. I still don't know how they chose oh, the classes that year because they had everybody messed up. Somebody, everybody was mad. That you year. know what? You know what it was. You know how you got in there. Somebody in the office went to church with your mama, <laughs> nah. and, and they said we finna put Asia nah. in the choir <laughs> on the chorus. Nah, <laughs> let me find out. Me, music was language because mm. in my house it was. Okay, do yeah. this for me, Kelly. Yes, Price. do this for me. Yes, I want you to sing your favorite gospel hymn. Okay, okay, take okay. me back. Mm. What was it? Ah. I am so grateful mm -hmm. that I have Christ in my life. What would my life be yeah. without him? It would be dark and dream. That's why I'm grateful. One. So very grateful that I have Christ. I have him in my life. That's grandma's song. Put your hands together in here. I don't care. No. Breath in your body. Yeah. At home, put your hands together. Yeah, we're grateful. Laying on the bed. In the car, put Love your hands boys, together. Yeah, sitting in traffic, put, put, your traffic your put your hands together. Put your hands together. You have your hands on the, the most wonderful gift. I'm gonna say that a million times today. Thank I you. have to start this game so I can get more of the gift. Yes. <laughs> I need okay. more of the gift. Kelly, okay, let's go. let me tell let's you go. how this works. Okay, I'm ready. I'm not. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> Roxy has a timer over there. It's okay, got 11 okay, seconds okay. on that clock, okay? okay? Right, when seconds. I give you this word, okay. you have to sing the first song that comes to your head that includes this word in the title of the song or its lyrics, okay? Okay. okay. If you don't get it in 11 seconds, yeah. Roxy okay. will buzz you. Okay. Please, Please don't get a buzz. Listen. I want to hear the throat. No pressure, no pressure. Okay. okay. Let's go. The word is lose. Ooh. I don't want to lose the only love. I've ever known, I've ever known. So, baby, 
don't you go don't you go away. that's the soul of a woman interlude that's how i opened up the record <laughs> and i know that record was busting mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. My life will never be the same. My life will never be the same. Okay. There is a fullness to your voice that I remember hearing even when I was a little child. There is a fullness to yeah. your voice that mm -hmm. it, hit, it doesn't matter what she sings. That's when you know yes. that you're anointed. Yeah, God is good. The word is belief. Mm. I believe the children are our future. Teach them babies. Mm. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Mm. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense uh. of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be. <laughs> you gotta keep going the side. Everybody's searching for, for a hero. <laughs> we all need someone to look up to. I never found anyone to fulfill my needs. Ugh. A lonely place to be. And so I learned to depend on me. I decided long ago never to walk. In anyone's shadow, if mm -hmm. I fail, if I succeed, at least I live as I believe. Hey. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity because the greatest mm. love of all is happening to me. Oh my, my, I found the greatest love of all inside of tea. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My goodness, hey. my goodness, hey. my goodness, my goodness. That's a good word. That, that one is that one and, uh... Um, I know see, what you're I, talking see, about. You know I know it. You yes, know I know it. I, I can't think of it. About, babe. I know what you're talking about. Your um, love is my love. Yes. Yes. Then you know, know that's my song. It's crazy because you sit back and you, the people that like singing Whitney Houston and mm -hmm. think about Whitney Houston, think about like singers from the past, if they were still here today. Like Aaliyah and all these other people, if they were still out here making music, a lot of these new singers wouldn't have a chance, man. They You're wouldn't right. have a chance. Mm -mm. I I don't think, I honestly don't think the music would have switched so fast. Probably not, because like. Our generation was still listening to mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So that's what our kids would have listened to. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just, they would probably have to be, there would be another category mm -hmm. of another genre, genre of music. Be. Because those R&B singers from then could not be in the same category as maybe some of them. Cause there's some R and B singers now who are close, but still you can tell a difference mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, I don't know. Cause sure. Coco Jones, she really, she, she kind of oh, gave me, Jones she, got it. she give me a, a, old, a older soul, like a real soulful type of, she got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's some more, but we ain't going. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be done oh, that, was right. that, was you, <laughs> that was a good throat. That was a good throat. That's one of my favorite songs. Mm -hmm. um, forget the the amazing vocals. 
uh, and the musicianship behind it, the lyrics of that song. Yeah, beautiful. It's so beautifully written. I loved it when people did it. I loved it when women yes. did it. I loved it. And it was one of the first songs I sang as a solo in school. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of songwriting, yes. uh, I knew some of these, but I did not know all of them. You've written with Kanye. You've mm. written with DJ Khaled, yeah. K. Michelle, yeah. Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a whole bunch more that did not fit on this card because yeah. there's no space remaining. <laughs> okay. Would you consider yourself, I mean, songwriting and, and singing, does one mean more to you than the other? Writing. Wow, wait, really? Yeah. I can be anything I want in a song. I have an audience that needs to see Kelly be Kelly a certain way. Right. But the great thing about writing for the very diverse group of artists that I have, I've written for Bonnie Raitt, I've written for Lil' Kim. I've written for, I, yeah. What? My so, what so you, Lil, you know what I mean? So, if, if you're, you don't want to hear me sing a little Kim song. You don't want to, you'll be like, she don't know. Like, I thought she was, really? Yeah, Kelly, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah. But when I'm writing for, whoever I'm writing for, it's not about me in that moment. Mm. It's about an adaptation of what they want to say mm. about their life or their situation. Mm. And so I have to format it and I have to word it right. for them. Like they would so do it. So I literally, be, like, to me, being a songwriter gives me the opportunity through lyrics to be like at a masquerade ball. You know what's funny is when before we started filming, um, Mariah Carey song, Always Be My Baby, oh was playing. Oh my God, one of the most fun songs. What, and I did not know that you are, your vocals are in the song. Yeah, 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 all what, over the place. Can you sing some of the parts that your voice is in? You know, I automatically go back into background singer mode whenever yeah. I hear anything that I've done with anybody as a background singer. So you were hearing me go, yeah. oh, 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 always be my baby. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I would have uh, never guessed that. No. Always be my, you'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. Your voice. No way you're ever gonna shake me. Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. And we'll linger on. <laughs> Time can't face this feeling so strong. <laughs> no way you're ever gonna shake me. Me. Yes. You'll always be my baby. Give it up for those background vocals on the top. <laughs> now I gotta go listen giving, to it again. Okay. They were giving. You know, I want to make sure I those vocals. background vocals too. That was probably the, the most fun part of being a part of that creative yeah. process. Because she would be right there in the booth and she would be like, all right, let's come up with some more parts. Yeah. And she was just always very, and then with the hand, uh -huh, mm. you, okay, let's do that. Let's do, okay. How many times, like, we were the, Queens of stack stacking. of vocals. Yeah. What is one thing, uh, maybe that's it, stacking vocals, that yeah. you learned by being under, I mean, would you call it the tutelage of Mariah? Absolutely. Or, yeah. Stacking vocals. Yeah. And having to lock into other textures of my voice. Because as a church girl, you mm. sing and you... Mm, right. Singing with Mariah, you, I had to discover and and more Ooh. so use airy textures, lighter textures, breathier textures. Mm. That's not necessarily required singing in church. Not at all. You gut punching every time you every open your time. mouth in church. They won't stand up but if you're going to, yeah, Just, you know, stand, <laughs> stand standing up. behind her and, I had a vision of love. And little things like, mm. little things like, We'd be in in the vocal booth and she would say, put an H at the beginning of that, where it's not a word with an H on it, but it gives the, so That's I, I why learned she's a, a legend. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's cute. I, I learned how to work the other textures of my voice. It enabled me to incorporate that even in my own music, which is why on every album, you're gonna get those Kelly Price power right. records, but there's always gonna be something, at least one song that's a little more poppier, yeah. a little light, airy, breathier, because I love that yeah. texture. I love, I love that. that. It takes a lot of discipline. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Careful. Okay. This is a lovely song. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, if I give you the word friend. Ah! Oh, yeah. She was my best friend. Okay. Hung with me through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. We Ooh, were sisters good. to the very end. And now I can't believe it, can't believe it, because she was a friend of mine. Hey. She left with my man. Dirty. She lied, <laughs> cheated, and took all I had. She was a friend of mine. <laughs> she used what she knew. 
She lied, cheated, That's her real. It's and good. left me confused. Ooh. Tramp. <laughs> Half up. Half up. <laughs> <laughs> Trick. <laughs> that song, that babe, is a big song. She was a friend of mine. That that, that that song had to have came out in. I had to have been like six or seven or something like, like that. Because I remember that song. I was living in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Mommy used to. Sing, mom was singing that song. Mommy, mommy used to sing this song. This I think they. I, I swear. Did this have tape? I can't picture mom singing this so Okay, first of all, because what friend you had that messed with your man? Well, I'm trying to figure out. So, and she would sing it, and so I would hear her play it all the time, and that became like one of my favorite songs. Why am I six or seven talking about somebody that just took my man away? And I ain't had no man. Yeah. I, I can't picture mom singing this song. And she used to sing that song. She, you know, older people, they always, when they sing songs, they always sing like they singing in a choir or opera or something. And that's how she was singing that song. Oh, man. Song that is Kelly's song. Kelly's song. Let's get into Kelly's solo career. Yes. I want to know about your first time sitting in I don't know, an office, whatever they have y'all sit in when you are getting ready to sign a deal. Ooh, the Jive first Records? Time. Is it Jive? Jive Records. Okay. Jive Records, on my way into the city, mm -hmm. on my way to go sign. My lawyer called me, he's like, today's signing day. Come yeah. into the city, head to the office. I'm on the Long Island Railroad, headed uh -huh. into the city. My cell phone rings. Okay, so before you come to the office, I need you to go by Jive offices. They're saying they need you to come by there before you come sign the paperwork. Okay, mm -hmm. fine, no problem, go to Jive. Um, I feel like in, something's wrong here. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the way the right. Okay. The story. Yeah, okay. But wrong, but also right in okay. the end. Jeff Finster, who was then uh, vice president or senior vice president at Jive Records, says, okay, well, we all know what we're here for. Like, literally just so we all know what we're here for. Let's just go ahead and say what needs to be said. So I'm looking at him like, what needs to be said? So we know that you're going to record this record, but we're going to need you to lose a considerable, amount of, a considerable amount of weight before we put this record out. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, so I'm, my face is getting warm. I feel my tear ducts filling up and I'm telling myself, you better not cry. So I, I take a beat, I take a breath, and I look at him and I say, okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm a big girl. This is something that we all know. We knew that when we started negotiating this contract, right. pretty much. Um, and I've been a big girl my whole life. So I just, you know, my question for you would be, who gets to decide how much is enough? Like, what if I lose 50, 60? What is considerable? What, yeah, mean? what? If, yeah, you know, mm. if I'm okay with what I look like, and you decide that you feel like I need to lose more, like, who decides when enough is enough? That's a good question. And there was no okay. answer for that. I thanked everybody. And I got up and I left. I'm sorry that happened to I'm you. I'm actually glad that it happened because the flip side of that is, is what if I went to my lawyer's office and signed the paperwork and it was sent back? Right. I would have been locked into a deal and probably sat on a shelf. Wow. Mm. Ooh, that's, covering. That's, that's yeah. true. The yeah. covering. It was, it was great that it happened. Mm. He guides my footsteps. Thank you, Lord. Music aside, in your personal life, did you ever go through any type of weight issue after that? I did. Like psychologically. I did. And it was always present because, I mean, first of all, I've lived my whole life as a plus size. Yeah. So you can't tell me that I'm big. I saw myself in the mirror this morning, right? So let's just get that out of the yeah. way. But if it is, in fact, a problem for you, I might not agree with it, but if you say what it is, then I know what it is and I won't waste my time. Yeah. So, but it ended up being the thing that literally just stayed in the back of my head. And so even when, after meeting Ronald Isley and going through all of that and him telling me, I don't care how much you weigh, girl, you sing, like you, you destroy anything out Mom. there, like whatever. Um, I believe I that had too. a meltdown mm -hmm. moment yeah. mm -hmm. when I was just about done with the Soul of a Woman album, and I called and asked, can we have a meeting? I, and this is, this is why you got to, sometimes we have to make sure that we're not in our own way. Mm -hmm. I literally went and repeated the whole Jive conference room situation, but it was my thing at that point. I called Ronald. Mm -hmm. I called Hiram Hicks. I was like, I need to come take a meeting with you all. Mm -hmm. And literally relived it because I called myself trying to put it out there before they right, put it out right. there. Um, and they shut me down. 
Wow. Which was great. Like, in my, I was in my head going, somebody's going to bring it up, and they're just going to, like, I done recorded this album. I done already signed this deal. What's going to happen? So I went in, and I was like, what do you all want me to do? Do you want me to, to get with a trainer? Do you want me, like, what, what do I need? Do I need to get liposuction? Like, I'm sitting in the room with Hiram and Rano and the head of marketing, and they looking at me like, what's wrong what with you? What you talking about? <laughs> what's wow. wrong with you? And Hiram Hicks was like, let me tell you something. You look like more women in the world than they do. You mm. represent a larger I percent right. of the demographic. Yeah. And they have nobody to look at and say, that's me. Mm. You're in a lane all by yourself. Why wouldn't you just go in and master mm. it? Mm. All you got to do is be you. Mm. There are more, he literally said there are more women in the world that look like you than don't. This one's just for me, honestly. Okay. It's okay. not on the card. Okay. I'm making it up. Okay. <laughs> the word is secret. Mm. So you want my secret or you want I secret? I want your secret. Okay. I got a secret. It's here in my heart. Yeah. And I can't even tell my friends how much I adore Come on. you. Come on. I'm falling apart. I, <laughs> I got to keep it deep within the way that I love you. Mm. I can't even say. I promise not to tell a soul, but it won't last too long. This feeling is so strong. Mm. That I can't hide the, I can't hide that breathy thing. So thank oh, you, Mariah. I the hear it now. Feeling inside. There's no H hmm. there, but it works, right? Oh the my God, it's coming together. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yes. I wanna let the world know it's you I'm loving. I can't hide. Yeah, that's that whole breathy situation. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, oh. Not uh, you uh, sounding uh, like, uh, yo, uh, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you sound just like you did all those years ago. <laughs> yeah. It has gone okay. nowhere. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, the sure. word is sick. Mm. Ooh. I'm playing the stomp music. Sick. Uh -huh. Kelly, sick. Sick. The buzzer. sick. I can't hit the buzzer. Um, Ooh. Uh, uh, Ah, sick! Oh, oh no! Oh my God! Colin, no! What is happening? I don't no. know what song with the word sick in it. No! <laughs> Kelly! I don't know what song. Do you I'm know so song? sick of love songs, so sad and slow. Oh. That's one. That's what came to my head. Yeah. That was Neo. No, but it was tired. He didn't say sick. No! The so name of tired of love songs. What's the name of the song, the Kelly? <laughs> 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 And he does say it in the lyrics as well. Yeah, Kelly, that's a buzzer, <laughs> baby. I'm sorry, I got a buzzer. What about night? I can tell you how I feel about you night and day. We can go to the holidays. Come on. One, two, one, two, three. Slow it down. Silent night. I love her. Holy night. I'm sick. Oh, oh night. Divine. Divine. Night. Yes, sir. <laughs> and just like that, it's December. It's December. <laughs> I got slapped into December. <laughs> you love to sing, and I love that you love it. I do. I do. I, I do, love I do, that I do, I you do. love it. It's my, it's my peace place. It's yeah. my happy place. When did you jump to the idea of, I want to uh, pursue this as a career? How old were you, and what, situ what was the situation? So, a very pregnant 18 um, year old. What? Yeah, this queen. queen. What is that? That's Queen. What show was that that they on? She must have was singing uh, Backup. Oh. Hey, Queen. Uh, I'm trying to get right in this chair. Who was homeless and went to my grandparents. Couldn't I didn't tell them that I was pregnant, but I was like, can I bunk downstairs for a bit until I can figure out what I'm going to do? And I hadn't told them that I was pregnant. Yeah. Um, um, but I had friends, musicians mm -hmm. at church, who were trying to turn into producers. Okay. And so they needed their demos done. And they would be like, yo, Kel, can you come through the studio and sing this demo? So mm. I was singing all my friends' demos. Um, from one of those demos, ended up getting locked into a situation where I was doing a background gig. Yeah. The George Michael gig, believe yes. it or not. That was the first professional gig. Um, and then the George Michael gig a month later turned into Mariah Carey for the Grammys, which turned into mm. MTV Unplugged, um, which turned into like five years of being on the road with her. And so, wow. um, so how that that's happened, yeah, um, that's dope. 18 and pregnant, not wanting to bring a baby into my grandparents' house, 
and they were paying. The church didn't even give us a fish sandwich for free when we sang. I sang, I sang my whole life in church. <laughs> and then when they would sell chicken sandwiches on Friday night, like I couldn't even get a free chicken sandwich. I said to buy my own chicken sandwich. So Not they still charge you. Yeah. Really about the house yeah, because it was the pastor's <laughs> aid department and they was trying to meet their dues. So they weren't trying to give away now, a free chicken sandwich. Y'all know y'all could afford one less sandwich. piece of catfish or tilapia so, for Miss Kelly. So, you know, with that, <laughs> Um, not wanting to burden anybody, knowing mm. that I had this baby coming and nobody knew about it other than God, the doctor, my sister, and the gentleman that I was pregnant by. Um, yeah. I, how, I, I, how, I how did you do that? How did you keep that a secret? Well, I was already fat. Oh. Kelly, shut it now. Now, Kelly. So, and, no. and true story, <laughs> she my, my said that regular. pure comedy. Yes. Pure com when I did break down to tell my grandparents yeah. that I was pregnant, uh -huh. my grandmother looked at me and said, I already knew I was waiting on you to tell me. Wow. My grandfather they said, Oh, I just thought you was getting fat. <laughs> 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 like, I just thought you were gaining Leave it weight. Up to By the time you went on the road, real. you had already given birth. No, I was oh, no. on the road with Mariah, very pregnant. What? I was on the Grammy stage, very pregnant. I was on the MTV Unplugged stage, very pregnant. I took my first international trip with her when I was six months pregnant. Her entire staff and everybody, they went over and above to make sure yeah. that I was good, that I felt okay. Um, there was always a doctor on call. Like, it was it was the best That's first long-term yeah. gig no, that, that what's anybody what's up. Yeah. could ever have. So through my pregnancies with both of my children, I was, yeah. on, I was on stage with Mariah on my due date. What? Yeah. Did you get birth in the hospital? I did not, but there was an ambulance. <laughs> we were at Madison Square Garden. There was an ambulance there, and there was an a, a, a EMT standing off to the side. And literally, I'm singing, ooh, 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 baby, how about <laughs> Build. Oh. See, now you're going to make me go all the way to church. Go all the way. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh. Hope to God's unchanging hand. Oh, 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 oh to his hand. Yeah. God's unchanging hand. Oh, to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, oh, to God's unchanging hand. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I, I'm a church girl. I went all the way. I went, I went back to the Yes Lord. Oh. I don't know where did I get that from? <laughs> You still make gospel music. Yeah. We're going to talk about your new project Never in a go moment. Anywhere. You, you kind of go back and forth in terms of the genres. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even when you're singing R&B, I'm just like, yeah, that. Oh, we church is down on you Friend of Mine. We church down, down on Friend of Mine in concert. Right? The way. We should have counted up the cost. Mm. But instead, we got lost in the seconds, in the minutes, in the hours. Yeah. As we lay, oh. we forgot about tomorrow. So As we lay, no, 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 no. You better soften. It's morning. Kelly Price. Yes. I have a game within a game for you. Okay. okay. Let's go. It's called Kelly's Price Is Right. Yes, I love that. <laughs> okay, that's right. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a song called Tired. Ooh, okay? Yes. <laughs> so the first Ooh, product I'm going to. a strong song. It was on one of the Medea movies. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. When the mama had cancer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That That's, boy, that song. To show good. you is tired. <laughs> Let's see, how many ounces that is? that 128 ounces? It's 92 ounces. ounces. 92 okay. ounces. Okay. Are we in Costco or the grocery store? We are at, oh, 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 all these prices are based off of Target, okay? Because mm, okay. you bougie, I know that. <laughs> Now, I'm going to give you the price. You got to tell me if it's higher or lower than okay. the one I'm saying. And you said okay? that's 90, 92 this ounces? This is 92 ounces, 92 okay? Ounces, okay? Is it higher or lower than fourteen ninety nine? dollars Price gouging because of COVID, carry the one. That's about the same price. Uh, um, right. mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's a sale week and it's lower than fourteen ninety nine. 
Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah. She's right. Yay! It's 1269. Okay. okay. <laughs> she got the first one. You have another song called Kiss Test. Yeah. Okay. So, what is something you need to check before you kiss somebody? My breath and then theirs. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, what's the second thing? <laughs> Terrell, okay, what would you think? Disrespectful. <laughs> But I need to do a quick investigation and make sure I don't see any blisters or anything in it. Okay. <laughs> Close well, enough. Okay. Well, we okay. got some birds okay. to eat. Oh, look at um, <laughs> Is it higher or Now, keep in mind, this it's is a four, four pack. pack. It okay. Is, a four pack. is it higher or lower than $10.99? The four pack. Mm hmm. God, 10 dollars is yes. really, really close. We're going to go with it's higher. It's lower. Yeah, it's really? it's 959. I said it, but it's really, really close. close. Yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, man, would they have 1199 on that this week? Yeah, I okay. know. Because it's right. four. You you it's are four. on the right track. Yeah. All right. You have a song called It's Gonna Rain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you do on a rainy day? You carry an umbrella. Mate, what oh, that's right. <laughs> 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 you also might eat some soup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Campbell's soup. Yes. Okay, so I'm is it higher in. or lower? Lower than one twenty nine, one dollar twenty nine cents. Don't forget it's home style. Lower. <laughs> mm. And again, that's okay. about a sale no. week. Mm -hmm. Dang it, because I still eat Campbell's chicken noodle soup while we playing. Mm -hmm. It's a favorite it's go to. It's real good. It is good. Uh huh. Higher or lower than one dollar and twenty nine cents? Yeah. Um, oh dang, it's higher. It's what? Oh shit! I. F <laughs> Look, I gave it a price. Okay. I was, she I was right. gonna say it, it wouldn't be more than one twenty-nine yeah, in my actually, mind. What did I say? One twenty-nine. You said one twenty-nine. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. It would, in my mind, I'm it, going. It one twenty-nine seems like what it would be, but it wouldn't be higher than that. This so. is why I don't host prices right. <laughs> no, I was thinking one twenty-nine. Right. You got a song called Someday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And someday I'll be able to take a break from being a workaholic and going on vacation. Yes. Suitcase. Oh, come on, Luggage. suitcase. And this now, is at Target? This is at Target, okay. but it's Swiss All right. gear. It's All right. foreign. All right. It's, it's just this one. Okay. And this is a this is a check bag. Is it higher or lower than $89.99? It's higher. Dang, she got it right, y'all. It's $119.99. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> she travels. Kelly's price is right. <laughs> Now that was right. professional. Yeah. It's like the people oh, I like on TV. Yeah. 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 I like that game. Gosh, Yay. this is my happy place. Yeah, this is my happy place. Ah, this is are, my happy place. We are happy together. Yes, happy, happy, joy, joy. Because this happy, is just happy, so happy, amazing joy, joy. to me. This I'm is, such yeah. a fan, I, you know and what? this is just oh, absolutely wonderful. wonderful. Thank you. This has been amazing. This has been amazing. Before you leave me, there's a hole yes. in your heart. There's a hole in my heart. My soul is bleeding. I need to free my mind and see what I'm feeling. Cause Lord knows, Lord I'm, I'm tired. Yeah. So if you want to take it to church, you can say, I'm tired. Oh, come on. I am weak and I am worn <laughs> through the storm. Through the night, lead I can hear her sing me all day. Yeah, I really can. To the to the light, Lord, please take my hand, precious Lord. And lead, lead Woo. me home. Can you help me say yes? <laughs> crazy. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
Oh, yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, 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 yes, Lord. We can't do it because I'll be laid out. I got to stop. You don't have to stop nothing. I it's my stop. show. I got to stop. Because <laughs> what I was thinking about was your story throughout that whole time. Yeah. And how you said yes, Lord, to mm -hmm. all the things. You were you were on your due date singing because you knew it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You said, this, is, this, is, this belongs to me. Yeah. I can see it. My dream is right there. Mm -hmm. And you put it all out on the line. You did what you had to do. You didn't make excuses. Mm -hmm. You were homeless and you were still doing it. Mm -hmm. It starts with faith and even with the pain sprinkled in there. That's a part of the recipe too. But you have to decide whether or not the pain is going to do this to you or if it's going to be the thing that makes you do this. Mm. And um, I would say to anybody that's struggling with whether or not they're going to allow them pain, their, their pain to drag them backwards yeah. or, to, or to stagnate their growth. Think about where the pain takes you without the faith and without the promises of God in it. Yeah. It's not a happy place. For the last time this season, I'm telling you it's been unprovoked this entire season. Mm -hmm. Faith. Yeah. I want to say half the artists that have sat in this chair has brought, the, brought that word up, brought up a situation that was faith-based without me provoking it at all. Yeah. It is the season of faith. It is the literally. season of faith. In this project, aside from wanting to release, mm -hmm. aside from wanting to help bring some joy and some laughter and some dancing back into people's feet, yeah. I really wanted to ch challenge us, whether you consider yourself a believer or not, to double down on the necessity of grace and humanity, mm -hmm. period. Mm. The acronym that I came up with, or I couldn't have come up with it on my own, but really in thinking about it, grace is a gift. Mm. It's responsibility, it's accountability, but it's given with compassion and empathy. How many times mm. I failed, this is the essence of it, you, and how many times you've seen me through, you took my disgrace mm. and gave me your amazing grace. That's the essence of the Ooh. song. He took my disgrace and he didn't shame me. He didn't shame me and he didn't cancel me. Instead, he gave me grace. And that's what we have to be willing to do for each other. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Could not imagine a better person to send us she out until the so next amazing. time. She, does. she still look good. Thank she you guys still again. I know this She's video is watching all of these episodes. I can't, I don't know what number we're on, but it's over a hundred. And I'll tell you, on the awesome. first one, I thought it was my last. Wow. I thought the first one was it. I'm like, this is um, that was an amazing day. <laughs> I got to interview this really cool artist no, and I'll go back yet. to doing what my other thing was. Mm -hmm. He's not done with you yet, are you kidding me? Yeah. You better speak Be life. Be open to it. I, I, it's, it's this world now that I am enjoying, mm -hmm. that I get to literally sit here and, and talk to some of my favorite people, my favorite artists, yeah. people that I listen to on a daily basis mm -hmm. and get to know more about them. Yes. And get to also share, like, you are also human, too. Oh, my God, I'm and so human. And if you can do it, they can absolutely do it, too. Uh, please. Before we go, Kelly, I have one more um, uh, price thing for you. Yes. Okay. What do we have? So this one, you better get it right. I better get All it right. right. I'm, I'm, okay. The price is... I don't know what the price is, but it's out. <laughs> is it higher or lower than? I don't know. Right, Say so higher or lower. Of, um, higher or lower. Okay, great. She got it right. <laughs> <laughs> the project is out right now. Great, right Kelly. Now. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. Oh. And I'll see you guys next time. Yay! Woo! Season four. Thank you. Ah. And I bow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, it's your girl, Kelly Price. You are watching The Terrell Show. You need to like, you need to comment, you need to subscribe, you need to tell somebody else to get their life and like, comment, yes. and subscribe, because you are not going to see Jesus if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> But um, she's this is only a year ago. She still looks amazing. Listen, she still yes. sounds amazing. You know what I'm saying? She, she like Terrell yeah. said, she still sounds yes. 
Like you know I remember like, her. As you remember her, like oh, we was kids. So yes. as we remember her as kids. You know what I'm saying? Her but voice is just it, I thought it was angelic. Like it just yes. something about the way it carried yes. back then. I love them deep tone voices yeah. though. I do too. I love deep tone voices yeah. when they sing. Makes me feel like, good about I, myself. I, like high voices are nice, but I love them deep tones, man. Yeah. yeah. It's something about them deep tones, man. Let us know what y'all think about this episode down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share and hit the post notifications so you know when we drop in videos. Peace.